Hello students, this is lesson 28, session 1. We are going to be learning about problems about time and money. We are on page 579 in your math book. So go ahead and turn there and we will get started. All right. Shane does chores for one hour and 15 minutes on Wednesday and 25 minutes on Thursday. Shing spends a total of 115 minutes doing chores on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. How many minutes does he spend doing chores on Friday? All right, so there's several different ways to solve this problem. Many students like solving this problem by starting out with a model. So if we make a model, we know that he spent 120 minutes total, I'm sorry, 115 minutes total doing chores on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So it says that on Thursday, he spent 25 minutes on Wednesday, he spent one hour, which is 60 minutes, and 15 minutes. And we know 60 plus 15 is 75. So that means we need to find this right here. So the way we can do that is we can take this number, 75 plus 25, and we can find that it equals 100, but we still don't know this number. But we know that this up here is 115. So we can do 115 minus 100 equals 15 minutes on Friday. Some people like to do this without using a bar model. If you want to do it without uh, using a bar model, you could just go ahead and do the, you could say, okay, Wednesday was one hour and 15 minutes. So that is 60 plus 15, which is 75, plus 25, which is 100 and then you can do 115 minus 100. Either way, you're gonna get the same hour, uh, same answer of 15 minutes doing chores on Friday. Okay, let's take a look at page 580. On 580, um, we're just going back over the way that we did this. I want you to take a look at this bar model right here. So um, on this bar model, we're using a different problem. On this problem, it's giving us the example of Lucy has two hours to do errands. So two hours, we know that there's 60 minutes in one hour. So 60 plus 60 equals 120 minutes. So there's 120 minutes. It says 15 minutes at the post office, 45 minutes at the grocery store, and 45, 40 minutes getting a haircut. How much time does Lucy have to go to get her car washed? So that's W. So now we're trying to figure out how we can find W. So it says, remember that two hours is the same as 120 minutes. Use the bar model to write an expression. Anytime it tells us to write an expression, that means that we're writing some type of an equation to find W. So we could say, um, here we could say 15 plus 45 plus 40, or we could say 120 minus 15 plus 45 plus 40 equals W. Down here it says write and solve an equation to find how much time it takes. So we could do, this would be more of this one. So we could say 
um, 120 minus, and we're actually going to put this in parentheses because it's going to be a little bit easier, 15 plus 45 plus 40 equals W. So first let's figure out what 15 plus 45 plus 40 equals. So I'm going to add them up over here by putting them on top of each other. 5 plus 5 is 10. 4 plus 4 is 8, 9, 10. So that's 100. So now I have, I know this is 100, 120 minus 100 equals 20. So how much time does Lucy have to get her car washed? W equals 20. So now down here the question is, how does the bar model help you solve the problem? So the bar model helps because the top shows the total amount of time. The bottom shows the time spent on errands and the time left for a car wash. And that's how it helps. Okay, let's take a look now at page 581. So those two problems that we just worked on, they are called multi-step word problems. Multi-step word problems are something we've actually already done a little bit of in fourth grade, and you're going to see more of those as we um, continue in fourth grade. And a good point to remember with those is you just have to stop and break them down and solve one part and then solve the next part. So our question is, is what is it? And it is a word problem that requires... more than one step to solve. What do I already know about it? I know that I can use a model um, such as a bar model. or use an equation. So let's give an example. Um, let, I'm just going to point over here and say Lucy problem because I don't want to have to write that whole problem. Okay, and then we could do this and let's do 10. And then I can do two, two, and then let's do C. Like, I don't know what C is. Or I could do C equals 10 minus 2 plus 2. And then I would solve... 2 plus 2 equals 4, so 10 minus, and then I would do C equals 6, okay? So these are the different ways to solve a multi-step problem. Okay, down here on number 2. Draw a bar model and write an equation for the multi-step problem below. Sam buys a table and two chairs. The table costs $300, and each chair costs $50. Sam has $500. How much money does Sam have left after he buys the table and two chairs? So Sam starts with $500. Okay. It says he buys a table 
the table costs 300. Okay, so here's our table for 300. Each chair costs $50 and he buys two. So here's a chair for 50, here's a chair for 50, and this is how much money he has left. So I'm going to use M for the money he has left. So it says draw a bar model and write an equation. So my equation is going to be M equals 500 minus these numbers right here. So 300 plus 50 plus 50. So I'm kind of running out of room here. So now I'm going to solve my equation. 300 plus 50 plus 50 is going to be 400. So I'm going to kind of bring my equation down. So 500 minus 400. M equals 500 minus 400. M equals 100. So Sam has 100 left. And that's how you solve it. Okay, let's go to page 582. Hopefully I have a little bit more room over there. Okay, page 582. Let's go a little bit bigger. Angela exercises for one hour, 45 minutes on Wednesday and 35 minutes on Thursday. She spends a total of 165 minutes exercising on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. How many minutes does she spend exercising on Friday? All right, so let's go ahead and draw our bar model. Okay. It says she exercises for an hour and 45 minutes on Wednesday. So let's go ahead and make this into all minutes. So one hour is 60 minutes plus 45. And then it says 35 minutes on Thursday. She spends a total of 165 minutes exercising on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So this is 165 minutes. How many minutes does she spend exercising on Friday? So first let's put Wednesday on here. So Wednesday is 60 plus 45. So let's add those together. 60 plus 45. That's 105 minutes. Thursday was 35 minutes. But Friday, we don't know. So Friday is going to be F, okay? Now we're going to draw, we're going to make our equation. So F stands for Friday. We don't know Friday. So F equals, because we don't know it, 165, because that's what we're starting with, minus, because we're going to minus what we do know, we're going to put it in parentheses, we know 105 plus 35, okay? We're always going to do the parentheses first. So 105 plus 35, I'm going to add those over here on top of each other because it's easier that way. 5 plus 5 is 10, 3 plus 1 is 4, 1 plus 1 is 2. So 240, oh, I must have added that wrong. 5 plus 5 is 0. Huh, I shouldn't have carried that. This should be a 1. Sorry. So 140. 140. Okay. 165 minus 140. So F equals 165 minus 140. Now I'm going to subtract those on top of each other. So F equals 25 minutes. So she exercised 25 minutes on Friday. That is it for session one. I will see you back for session two.